Have you been looking for a way how you can convert your depth maps into STL files, 3D models, so you can 3D print them or you can put them on your CNC machine and carve them into wood? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the free way that I use to create these STL files. And what's even better about it is just drag and drop. And I think it's one or two clicks at most. So let's get into it straight away and have a look at the free tool that I use to do it. So this is a program I'm going to use. It's actually an online tool and it's totally free. And it's called, as you can see here, Image to STL, Create a 3D Height Map, which is just the same. I call them depth maps. Lots of people do. And there's lots of different tools. It all depends what your depth map's saved in. It can be PNG to STL, JPEG, SVG. Well, today I've got my depth maps saved in a P PNG file, as you'll see here. That's one of them. So what we're going to do now, we're going to import it in. And it's just going to automatically create a, a STL file for us. And once we've got the STL file, we can go on, 3D print it, CNC carve it, and do really cool stuff with it. Now, this is totally free. So all that you need to do, you're up here, as you can see, upload a file. And I'm just going to drag it just in there, plop it in. And now you get a couple of boxes come up, tool standard which is fine. We don't want to mess with that. And now detail. Now, I always like to go high. I like a high detail. Now, base, this just means if there's any areas which might be problematic, be very, very, very thin. Like, say, on this one, there's lots of dark areas, real dark black. If we just say one millimetre, that'll make those a minimum of one millimetre. So, basically, you won't have no holes in your 3D rendering. So, I just do that. And then it's, it's just as easy as that. You just click convert to STL. And as you can see, it's processing. It doesn't take very long at all. And there you go. There it is. Now, what I'll do, I'll save this out. And then we'll open it up and we'll have a closer look. And we'll see just exactly how, how well it's come out. So all you do then is you click this button here, download. And it will download it into your file. Now, as I say, it is a free program. So you do get a pop-up ad, but you just close that. And as you can see... It just plops in your download folder. And then we have a look. There it is. I'll just quickly put it on the desktop. Comes in a zip file. You unzip it. Now let's have a look. Let's open it up. Now look at that. Now I'm sure you'll agree. Look at that. How cool is that? Now, that would do a lovely 3D, if you want to do a 3D print, a pictorial panel. I mean, I use these for actually making moulds for my silver pouring. I do sand casting, so I'd push that into the sand, pour the silver in, and I'd get a lovely Egyptian lady portrait. But you could, obviously, then use this STL file for your CNC carving. You could carve that into a nice piece of wood. And look at it. It's just so, so cool. Well, that that's one. Let's, let's, let's give it another go. Let's give it another test. Let's try something a bit more difficult. So there's that one. So we're going to go convert another. So you just click that button there, convert another. Same process again. And we're going to drag this one in. This is a bit more complex, more going on, as you can see. A lady with machines and monsters. Detail again, high. Base, one millimetre. Now, there is some other settings over here, but these are just size settings. And I'll just leave those alone. I just go with what the... The, the images because you can resize them afterwards once it's an STL anyway so I don't mess I just like to leave it as simple as I can so let's see how this one goes and here we have it look at that right let's download that click download there you go let's pull it on the desktop okay, and we'll unzip it and let's see what we got Sure you agree now with this one that's a very very as you see look at the depth on that a very very high relief so we could make it a bit lower but look at that i mean now what i'd do with that now i'd put that in blender or any other 3d editing file and i'd just make it slightly thinner that's all i'd do i just wouldn't make it as thick and it just be look at the relief you just it just works so well it works so it does exactly what it says on the tin so I'm sure you'd agree, 
you get some really cool results. We just got a little bit of a bit of a full round by the face. But as I say, if we make it thinner, if we if we if we tell if we put it in Blender or any other three D software, we can just make that file not as thick, and that sort that little problem out. And I'm sure you'll agree. For a free program for creating STL files, it's wonderful. And there it is. Image to STL. Now, if you have found this useful, I've got another program here, which actually, another program, sorry, another video here that actually shows you how I make the actual depth maps I've been converting. So it might be worth you checking that out. Cheers for watching.